Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well and today I've got an early video because uh, we have a hurricane or a tropical storm that might turn into a hurricane, might turn into a category one hurricane coming towards us here in southern Louisiana. So I actually had the day off from school. So this is something that I found <laughs> very entertaining. This is actually something that came up on my on my timeline on my Twitter and I just, I had to talk about this because I already, you know, tweeted out to Ryan Johnson just talking to about how, you know, full of himself this guy really is but uh here he says i immediately felt bad about tweeting that it was mean and i'll try to do better moving forward as to my plate maybe so but really don't we all have better things to do than to be on twitter and so this is a response to coco baggins who basically said and, and called him out on what he had said and noticed that he had deleted the comments but then also said you know for someone who claims to be writing a star wars trilogy you would think that Ryan Johnson would have a little bit more on his plate, and so Ryan Johnson responds to say, oh, as to my plate, maybe there's a little too much on my plate, but don't we really all have better things to do on Twitter? And yet, ever since that comment, ever since that comment, we have seen so many responses and so many tweets. So, we already see that this guy is totally just being a hypocrite about everything that he said already in this one tweet, and also, I immediately felt bad about tweeting it. Really, if you felt so bad about it, then why was it out there for long enough for most people to be able to see it, take screenshots, etc.? You didn't feel bad about it, Ryan Johnson. I I I'm sorry, but like some people might say, oh, well, you know, how can you assume to know what is in his mind? Because I've seen this guy work. I've seen this guy put things on Twitter. I've seen the people from Lucasfilm work, and it's all the same. They put stuff out there, and then as soon as as soon as it's seen to have more of a negative implication than a positive implication, what happens? The reins come down. They say, you know what? Maybe you should pull that back. You know that someone told Ryan Johnson, hey, take that off because that that is not what we want. We already have enough people mad at us in the first place. You know, please take that off. That, that's what at least what it seems like. Now, could it be that Ryan Johnson just out of the goodness of his own heart possibly, you know, decided to delete it? Maybe. But yet, if he feels so bad about it, why hasn't he issued a public apology to Mike Zero? If he felt so bad about it, he says, maybe, but it was mean because Star Wars Explained says, you did nothing wrong. Ryan Johnson, you did nothing wrong. My name is Star Wars Explained and you did nothing wrong. Um, excuse me, he bullied somebody for just talking about news, for covering rumors. I'm sorry, but like that's what happened. Mike Zero never went after Ryan Johnson. He just talks about what the rumors are. My, Mike Zero, when he does his videos, he says, here's the news right now. Here's what's going on. Here's all the speculation. Here are what my sources are saying. And again, you can take or leave whatever Mike Zero decides to say. But no one's going to call Mike Zero somebody who's going to go after somebody. You know, he's, he's going to, again, report on the sources and on the news that's coming to him. And that's why he makes like three or four videos a day talking about all these rumors as they come in. Because as you know, with Star Wars being such a huge property, even still after Disney has just dismantled it for so many different reasons, we have seen still that the rumor mill is churning out new stuff every single day, and Mike Zero is at the forefront of that, at least at putting all that stuff out there. And so for Ryan Johnson to write the tweet where he says, you know, he was basically laughing, was like, oh, Mike Zero was involved? <laughs> if you want to hear my troll my Ryan Johnson laugh, go check out my previous video talking about this. But at the end of the day, if you really felt bad about it, Ryan Johnson, if you really felt so bad about it and you really thought it was mean, then why in the hell haven't you gone and and apologized to Mike Zero? And you have all these people liking the tweet and saying like, "Oh, you're such a you're such a good guy. Oh, look at this guy. He's he deleted it. He knew it was mean, so he deleted it. That's our hero." You know who you want to know who the hero is in this situation? Mike Zero. Do you want to know why? Mike Zero didn't say a damn thing about it. Mike Zero stayed totally silent on the entire situation. If you want to talk about someone taking the high ground, Mike Zero took the high ground. Ryan Johnson didn't. Ryan Johnson put the words out there, and then he deleted them because he got a backlash for it. Probably had someone, uh, someone higher up in the food chain, uh, you know, at Lucasfilm say, "Hey, you should probably delete that." And and then he ran away like a coward. I said this in the other video today. He's a coward. He put the words out there, and then he took them back. He deleted them, and he thought to himself, "Oh yeah, I, no, I felt bad about it." If you again. Ryan Johnson, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you are, or if any of your fans or followers are, are watching me right now, tell Ryan, if he feels so bad about it, why hasn't he issued a public apology to Mike Zero? You want to know why? Because he's a coward and because he's full of it. He is so full of himself. He is so egocentric. He lives in this tiny little bubble where The Last Jedi is the greatest Star Wars film of all time, where people constantly tell him, oh my god, your film was amazing, when the reality, bust, you know, burst the bubble for a second, when the reality is that 50-50 at best, like, dislike the movie, you have even now the media 
putting that out there. Again, I talked about the movie web article the other day that seemed to indicate that, that there seems to be some kind of turn happening in the media. I don't know how big it's going to be, but at least one person over at movie web seems to be seeing the reality of the situation. So you have a 50 50 split at best. And also, no one can deny, and they can like your film, 50% of the audience can like your film, but none of them can deny the very real and uh, destructive narrative that you put into your film. You broke Star Wars, Ryan Johnson. And I, I talked about this when I talked about the Matthew Kadish article, and I'm going to have an interview with him, hopefully coming up either today or later this week. But he talks about how the hyperspace ram really is one of those moments, narratively, that totally disintegrates Star Wars because it leaves us all with the question, why in the hell didn't they just put a droid inside an X-Wing and have it go <laughs> light speed through the Death Star, through the second Death Star? Why didn't they just do that? And now every time, like, I've been watching Clone Wars. I love it. Oh, my God. I just started season five. I've been binge watching this show because it is so damn good because even this kid show meant for kids has deep and dark narratives that a lot of people can like. Even kids who can still like the different elements of the show because it is still a cartoon – they, they, they can still like those aspects of it, but adults can love it too. I mean, the character arcs, the story arcs that have been, you know, season long are just incredible, are absolutely amazing. That is good storytelling, but even those stories are slightly ruined whenever they're in a big battle because all I can think to myself is, why are you wasting clone troops? Why are you wasting troops when you could just have, again, a, a ship that can go into hyperspace and just hyperspace ram it? That is the question. That is the doubt that Ryan Johnson's film has put into our hearts. And that is just one of the many narrative flaws that you cannot explain away. So again, Ryan Johnson, you have destroyed the Star Wars narrative. This trilogy is dead on arrival because no matter what they do with Episode Nine, unless they retcon, unless they say, hey, all the things that were established or most of the things established in Ryan Johnson's film aren't real, unless they do that, they have nothing. They can do nothing narratively because you took every interesting narrative point set up by The Force Awakens, and you said, Psh, screw that, I'm going to subvert everyone's expectations and make my movie for me and not give a damn about what the fans think. Because every time the fans have come out and talked to you about the problems with your film, about how you essentially destroy the Star Wars narrative, guess what you've done? You've gone out and you've attacked them. And right here in another situation, Mike Zero, who did nothing, who did not reach out to you, someone mentioned him in one of your tweets, and then you immediately went out and said, ha, 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 Mike Zero, oh, we used to have this joke on set, everyone would joke about it saying, oh, you just got Mike Zero, ha, 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 that was you, and yeah, you say, oh, that was mean, and you say, oh, yeah, I, I felt bad about it right away, yeah, you haven't apologized, I have not seen you reach out to Mike Zero, now, maybe you have done so in private, I don't know, but all I can say is that if you publicly go after somebody, a YouTuber in that way, you should publicly in the same way. If it is that, if you feel so bad about it in public and you'll say, oh, I feel so bad about it. That's why I decided to get all that sympathy tweet, to get all those sympathy hearts on your little tweet, Twitter, then why don't you act like the bigger man and actually publicly apologize? Even though that I and many others would say that's a half-hearted apology because this guy is a coward. You hide behind your Twitter. You hide behind all these other, other things. Again, I'm putting my face out there. And I am being very straightforward with how I feel about everything. I'm getting some hate for the videos that I made yesterday because not everyone agrees with me on Black Panther. Not everyone agrees with me when I talk about the, the James Gunn, Dave Batista situation. And you know what? That's okay. We can have those different disagreements, but at least I'm coming out and putting my voice out there while you hide behind your damn computer, not writing your trilogy because guess what? Disney would be stupid, would be stupid to allow you to write another Star Wars film, not only because you ruined the first one, but also financially, the boycott would be so, so severe that you might not even make your money back. That's my thought on that. And again, if you're truly sorry, apologize. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I really do greatly appreciate it. Y'all guys are amazing. Please, uh, if you are in uh, South Florida, Mississippi, uh, Alabama, uh, Louisiana area, please stay safe during this storm. Love you guys so much. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.